man we honor tonight began performing in films in Man on a Swing, playing a tough coach in a crime thriller starring Cliff Robertson and Joel Gray. It started a career of over 35 years of 15 feature films, nine movies of the week, five miniseries, 17 TV series, all adding to the vast Shakespearean roles he played across both the United States and Canada and 10 Broadway shows in New York. He has starred or co-starred with some of our greatest actors, worked with some of our finest directors and writers in the industry. For two years, Clarence starred with the late John Ritter in ABC's hit series, Hooperman. Little voice in my gut keeps telling me something's up. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You're a cop. You got a devious investigative mind. Stake her out. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I could. He tried to find Bette Midler for Danny DeVito in one of the funniest comedies ever shot, Ruthless People. I don't believe this. Give the bag to Bozo, drop the gun, and put your hands in the air. Who said that? This could very well be the stupidest person on the face of the earth. Perhaps we should shoot him. You know, old buddy, you work, you put in the long hours, it's a tough beat. But it all seems worth it when you get a moment like this. Yeah, I love a happy ending. <laughs> then try to save Bruce Willis's life in the last Boy Scout. That is his statement, Ben. It's bullshit. Hollenbeck is hiding something. How do you know? Because I know how to f his mind works. Every lie has 80% truth to it. I mean, it's scary. We looking at the same guy? Yeah, what is it you're looking at? I see a guy looks like he just slept in his clothes. Ah, that's what everybody sees. There's more? Oh, yeah, a lot more. A long time ago, this same son of a bitch saved the president's life. I just wanted to shake your hand. Ben told me about what you did for the president. I respect that. Thanks. He nearly killed Vanessa Redgrave as the Nazi commandant in the classic written by Arthur Miller, Playing for Time. The officers have decided to keep the piano in their club for the use of the members. You can manage without it? Yes, of course, Herr Commandant. It was only a little extra sound to fill out, but it's not imperative. Which one is Greta, the Dutch girl? Open your mouth. Do you have any disease? No, no, Herr Commandant. Dr. Mengele tells me she's not a very good player. Not very good, no. Although not too bad. But she works quite hard. But you and could I... manage without her? Why? Yes, of course, Herr Commandant. And he played the evil bouncer for Martin Scorsese in After Hours and played dozens of tough detectives, bad guys and good guys, and even led a Hell's Angels gang in the series The Insiders. In the cult hit The Hidden as an alien, Clarence killed people with guns, machine guns and grenades. <laughs> Anne has been killed with his many weapons in numerous other movies, including Slayground, where he ended up floating in a lobster tank. Yes, when they wanted a tough guy and a great actor, they signed Clarence Felder. In 1995, Clarence Felder came back to South Carolina due to illness in his family. And he and his wife, actress writer Chris Weatherhead, began touring the Southeast with their company, Actors Theater of South Carolina. They fell in love with the Low Country. They began the digital motion picture division Moving Images Group. Six years ago, started Felder Film Fest to support new movie makers here. 
and now are in final post-production on their indie feature, All for Liberty, heralding the bravery of Clarence's sixth great-grandfather and American Revolutionary War hero, Captain Henry Felder. So tonight, we honor his lifetime achievements, a tough guy and a great actor for any century, Clarence Felder.